On Albert's birthday, the Ramsbottoms asked all their relations to tea, including young Albert's grandmother. An awkward old lady was she. She cast quite a damper on party, but cheered up a bit after tea and gave Albert a real golden sovereign she'd saved up since 1903. It had a king's head on the one side and a dragon fight on the reverse and smelt of cashews and cough drops through being so long in her purse. Albert cuddled the coin and he kissed it and he felt the rough edge with his tongue for he knew by the look of his father it wouldn't be his very long. Shall I get your money box, Albert? said Mother, so coaxing and sweet. But Albert let drop an expression he, he must have picked up in the street. At last, Father took it from Albert and to mystify them that were there, pretended to swallow the sovereign, then fetched it back out of his ear. This filled little Albert with wonder, and before you could say Uncle Dick, he'd snatched the coin back from his father and performed the first half of the trick. When the relatives saw what had happened, they set up a proper old clack, and each one suggested some process for getting the sovereign back. Some were for fishing with tweezers, while some were for shaking it out. If we only got back a few shillings, they said, it would be better than now. They tried holding Albert set downwards and giving his back a good clump, till his uncle, who worked for a chemist, said, there's nought for it but stomach pump. They hadn't a stomach pump handy. So Pa did the best that he could with a bicycle pump that he borrowed, but that weren't a epith of good. At last, they took him to a doctor, who looked down his throat through a glass. He said, it'll mean operation. I fear he'll have to have gas. How much is this going to cost us, said Father, beginning to squirm. Said the doctor, it works out expensive. The best gas is eightpence a term. There's my time, four shillings an hour. You can't do these things in two ticks. By rights, I should charge you a guinea. But I'll do it for eighteen and six. What, eighteen and six to get sovereign? Said father, that doesn't sound sense. I'll tell you what. You best keep Albert and give me the odd 18 pence. The doctor concurred this arrangement, but to this day he stands in some doubt as to whether he's in 18 shillings or whether he's 18 pence 